AI personas are closer than you think. Things are moving very rapidly and the good thing is that more and more support for local AI is being provisioned by our favorite tools. SQLite is one such tool. It is a lightweight, serverless and widely used database engine that runs almost everywhere from phones to browsers and now it has a vector extension. In this video, we are going to install that locally and I will show you an end-to-end -end code example as how to get it implemented in a real world use case by using Google's embedding Gemma model which we already have covered on the channel. But for the purpose of this video, I will be installing it again with Olama. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So what exactly has happened here? This is SQLite and then this is a new vector support. This vector extension SQLite VAC allows storing and searching embeddings which is the numerical representation of text, images or any other data that enables semantic search and AI powered personalization directly on device without needing a large backend or internet connection for that matter. This makes it extremely useful for privacy preserving AI applications, offline assistance or personalization features embedded in any of the apps. I will be using it with Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, just search my channel. It is one of the many uh, tools which is quite easy to implement and you can, if you're starting in AI, I think that is one of the good options in addition to LM Studio and few others. I already have Olama installed. It's very, very straightforward to install. Just click on this download. For Linux, just run this command for Windows and Mac. Just download the XE and then go from there. As I said, I already have Olama running. This is my Ubuntu system. And I have one GPU card and VDRTXA rtx 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I am starting by creating a virtual environment with Konda. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, let's go back to our terminal. Now let's install Olama and SQLite VEC and NumPy. Let's wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long. It's very, very quick while that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. All the prerequisites are installed. As I mentioned earlier, we already have Olama installed here. You can see that I have these two models already present, but instead of these, we want to use, let's say, embedding Gemma. Other embedding model is Nomic, from, uh, which is also quite a good model, and there are heaps of others which you can use. And you can see that this embedding Gemma is quite lightweight. Uh, and I have already done a complete video uh, without Olama, where you can see it in action. Seems like a very, very good embedding model from Google. It is uh, multilingual and supports quite uh, a lot of huge array of languages from across the globe. Okay, so let's go back and our embedding Jamma is also downloaded. As you can see, it's running very lightweight, very small footprint, 621 MB. Okay, so that looks good. And this is a complete code as how you can use this SQL vector extension. So all we are doing, we are importing all the libraries, we are setting up our SQLite database, and then we are storing the embeddings or vector representation of these sample recipes generated by the embedding Gemma model. So these are the recipes, these are the queries which we will search here, and then it is going to only return the semantically similar responses. This is where we are creating our connection to the database. We are loading the extension and we are executing the query. And then if I just go down, this is where I am getting some of the um, connections with the database, which is quite a straightforward SQLite connection. And after that is done, you can see that I am creating 
the embeddings i am storing them into the vector store and then i am running the above queries which i showed you above and i'm also using this k is equal to three so that it will only result the matching result and only top three results as we don't need all of them so this is how easy it has become to create the vectors and store them into this embedding tbs and happy to share the code with you uh, please also support the channel by becoming a member and we'll send you the code right away okay so let me now take you to my terminal and then run this to show you this in action so i'm just going to run this app.py script and there you go the result has been returned and you can see that script has perfectly demonstrated sqlite with this sqlite vector extension and it is doing a couple of semantic searches on recipe data so we have seen that how to set up everything now this is where script has run two static example queries easy dinner with chicken and healthy vegetarian meal each query has been embedded into a vector and then compared against stored recipe embeddings using match which i already showed you and that has returned top three closest matches ranked by distance as you can see here towards the end of that and these are all the top k1 and k's value was three and this really shows that not only quickly but ai powered search can run fully offline on device and as i said earlier you can create your own recipe finders your own offline assistants or even smart app features without a server you don't need big models you don't need any gpu and this it doesn't even consume any gpu if i quickly show you my gpu consumption you see it is just over one gig you can very easily run it on cpu it would run like a char without any hitch and the great thing about this new extension is that you are not just confined to python it also works with javascript with ruby rust go c++ um, dataset sqlite utilities android plus ios one of my favorite feature of this is that uh, it also deals with one of the most common use case for vectors and that is for the k nearest neighbors or knnn queries so you will have a table of vectors and you will want to find the k closest which we just saw in action uh, and there are two ways of performing knn queries with sqlite vec with vec zero virtual tables and manually with regular tables but i would highly recommend you do it with virtual tables just like i showed you in the code because that is something uh, faster more compact and uh, i believe it is flexible and if you don't use it then i think you would need to go with a lot of joins and all that stuff uh, manual is always flexible but always more complicated and why use it when you have the virtual table so that is uh, my recommendation if you're looking to implement it in your application that's it please like the video and subscribe and please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support